in this question here, well, the tricky bit of differentiating this is this bit here. And actually, I'm going to just focus on this bit for starters, the 0.5 to the t. And essentially, you need to know the formula of what happens when you differentiate a to the x with respect to x. And you need to know that that is just equal to um, the natural log of a times a to the x. Now, if you're stuck in an exam and you can't remember, you can use implicit differentiation to help you. If you had y equals a to the x, take logs of both sides. You get natural log of y equals natural log of a to the x, and then we get natural log of y equals x natural log of a. So what we're going to do is differentiate that respect to x. So natural log of y differential respect to x is 1 over y dy by dx. x differential respect to x is just 1, and so therefore we're just left with natural log of a. So therefore, times throughout by y, we get natural log of a times by y. And we know that y is a to the x. So we just get natural log of a times a to the x for that differential. We've got i's and t's here, so we to find di by dt. Just imagine the x is t, the a is 0 0.5 now, and the i is like our y is here. So if we want to find di by dt, 16 differentials will give you nothing. The 0 0.5 to the t will give you natural log of 0 0.5 times by 0 0.5 to the t. And we've got minus 16 lots of that. Remember, if you just times by any constant, if you have k um, x squared, you just whatever constant you have will also appear in your differential. And we want to find this out when t equals 3. So when t equals 3, di by dt is equal to minus 16 times by the natural log of 5, 0.5, times by 0.5 to the 3. So that's just going to give us 1 eighth. 1 eighth times minus 16 will give me minus 2 times natural log of 0.5. So that's the same as natural log of 0 0.5 to the minus 2. So 0 0.5 to the minus 2 is the same as a half to the minus 2. The minus means reciprocating to and square it. So 2 over 1 squared, which just equals 4. So the answer is just natural log of 4. Alternatively, you could just type that 0 0.5 to the minus 2 into your calculator and get an answer out.